Hey, Flurbert, Sonne here. Uh, I guess this is the fifth part of the Advanced Vehicle System tutorial series for Unreal Engine 4. And uh, I first want to say thank you, guys. Thank you so much for uh, liking and for subscribing and for leaving comments. It really means a lot to me. I did not expect my channel to grow um, twice as big with li like only four videos uh, into this into the series um, and it really means a lot to me I want to grow this channel and I and I want to get like the big the big guys like the mad ass plants and the death addicts of this planet um, but yeah some of you guys uh, were asking questions and there were good questions as uh, also and one of the questions was can you make a tune shop and well look you can um, you can like basically uh, drop this blueprint of the auto shop into your level and um, yeah you can drive drive in and just uh, move some sliders around I also made like a small adjustment adjustment already um, so uh, what I did is I added uh, the spring uh, downforce uh, thing I first want to get my car like perfectly magenta and let me get like a decent license plate because I got 69 subscribers now and by the time we, will, we, we, we hit the 420 uh, I will do something special I guess okay uh, so th the downforce yeah you can change that the default is like 50 so let's put it like something low maybe maybe 20 yeah will do and if we now hit um, exit then yes you see the car is like a bit lower now and uh, I've been like playing around with this and you can really feel the difference and if you just crank the number up then you see the car is high on its wheels now so uh, let me just type in 50 here and hit apply okay see now the car is like back to normal like default settings what else can you do in this thing? Well, you can change wheels and any odd wheel will do. And that's like one of the best parts about this um, about this vehicle system that like anything will work. This 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 huge wheel, it just works. And it will handle the collisions just fine and uh, and yeah, you can have all kind of silly stuff. Um now to get a little bit less silly let me just select the drag wheels for the front and the, 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 the drag wheel for the back um, oh yeah here this one as well drag drag wheel there you go okay uh, looks good uh, let's take her for a spin And the funny thing is that like all the, the um, um, how do you call it, all the, the, the wheels, they have different feelings. Uh, because they're different size wheels and well, yeah, that's, that's how it works. Um, so what else? Oh yeah, this one guy asked about how do you actually set up the, um, the AI and well, of course, I showed you how to set up the, the spline path. And now I will show you guys how to... Oh, what did I do? Control Z. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, now I will show you guys how to set up the um, AI for, for like a vehicle that you dropped into your level like this. Um, what you basically do is uh, go back from full sc screen mode, select the vehicle scroll all the way down and then up a little bit and here this the AI stuff and you just um, change this to AI 2 you have to have number 2 number 1 doesn't work um, I tried it, it didn't work number 2 did work so let's go for number 2 I'm also working on a number 3 and there will be a tutorial on uh, a slightly more advanced AI system because uh, yeah, those guys are kind of dumb right now. All they do is 
follow the path and they, they will just, well, just look. <laughs> there they go. Oh my god, they just, they just uh, drive into each other and it will become messy. But eventually, you know, the muscle car is slightly faster than the ugly red car. So there you go. Oh yeah, also uh, I added a little lake. Because I think every racetrack should have a little lake uh, in, in the middle. Uh, this is just very easy. Just uh, add like the water stuff and then uh, drag in a lake and drag in a river. The post process kicks in kind of late. If somebody knows why, then please let me know. Thank you very much. And well, the river, in the river it's like all perfect. So yeah. Nice lake and a nice river. What else do we got? Um, let me see. We can add more of those. It's all it's always fun to have like cars driving around your world, and it works with any car. That's the power of the advanced vehicle system plugin thing. Okay, uh, well, let me grab this one and I will show you because my kids have been uh, complaining about um, that stuff was getting boring like after after a while. They want to compete in something. Oh, the, the red, ugly red car will be around the corner like any minute now. There she comes. Yay. Hello. Oh, you're so ugly. I love you. Goodbye. Uh, what I was to say? Oh, right. So my kids, um, they were like, "Yeah, but uh, this is all boring because we we cannot compete, and um, um, there's there's not like anything we can do except for race rounds." Uh, so I was like, "Okay, okay, shut up. I just drop in this quarter mile thing. This is also just a blueprint. You just drag and drop it, and it works." And how does it work? Well, you just drive up to the line and then accelerate as fast as you can. And when you get like to the end, it will measure your speed, your your current speed and the time that it took to like hit the quarter mile. Quarter miles like 400 meters for, for those who want to know, and 99.47 mile an hour. That's like roughly 160 kilometers an hour. That's quite fast. It's not bad for a, an old car from the 60s or whatever. But we can do like a lot, a lot better. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so, let let me show you the fastest vehicle in the car. It's uh, if the fastest vehicle in the pack, that's the semi-truck with rockets. Because uh, rockets make me go yes. And this is how it works. You just push the shift, the left shift, and it will go crazy fast. Uh, one problem though, you cannot brake quick enough, but uh, fortunately I added the uh, invisible wall, because otherwise you will just fly off into the void, because those mountains are not real mountains, they're just props uh, in the background. They come in the, with the um, uh, Brushify Forest pack, I think? Wow, that's four t 428 kilometers an hour, that's, that's pretty good I think is it I think it is well anyway uh, when you're done racing you can uh, well let me just get a really pretty car Volkswagen transport this is actually the car that I'm going to buy like this year a Volkswagen transporter because um, I'm going to create the perfect game developer fan uh, and it will not flip over like this. <laughs> god damn it. Oh my god. Okay, okay, let's 
let's get back on track. So when you're done uh, racing, I made this uh, the city road back to the start, and I have to uh, hit this button to to let my fans uh, spin up a bit because uh, my frames are drip dropping quite a bit. Okay, um, so we're almost back. Let me break so I don't fall over again. There we go. And so, so you can race again. And the funny thing is, when you um, when you do the race again, uh, you automatically um, they automatically reset the clock. Uh, so that's that's all pretty pretty neat. And again, I did not create like any of this, guys. I just drag and drop stuff around, and uh, it works. Oh, but. I did create something because um, when 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 we hit 100 subscribers this month and there's like just a couple of days left, um, I will get a Steam key and I will release this thing on Steam and I will keep updating it until it's like a proper game. Um, yeah, so the racing track is here. Well, um, where where was it going? Oh, let me get back to here and I created a server browser and you can click server browse and there should be like uh, there's steam connectivity so this all works over steam you can host the game and your friends can join and you can just drive around and I will add to this whatever I can and whatever you guys ask for as long as it's possible for me to do so I think that's uh, that's it for today. Um, if you like what you've seen, uh, please uh, hit a thumbs up. If you don't like it, hit a thumbs down and tell me why you didn't like it. And if there's like anything uh, you want to add, just leave it down in the comments. And I hope to see you guys very, very soon. This is Fleurbert, out. Bye!